Hi, I'm Niku Sharma. I've been a Toronto realtor for over 10 years. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about living with your parents. Multi-generational homes are becoming more and more common again. And they can vary from parents living with you to having multiple units in the home. The wonderful thing is that you have support. So if you are thinking about, you know, going down this path, there is actually an incentive as of January 1st, 2023, that could uh, benefit you if you are planning to do a renovation in your home and stay in the home that you're in and have your parents or somebody move in um, with you to support. So to qualify, you have to be renovating your current home. This is not about purchasing a home. This is about taking your current home and making it fit for whoever it is that is moving in to your family with you. Um, so I did this a couple years ago when the incentive wasn't a thing, um, but we actually renovated a home that we live in currently and we didn't split it into multiple units, but created space for my parents to move in and support uh, us in our life with our children. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for multiple reasons. You know, aside from going through a renovation, having them live with you, it's really a great opportunity to build stronger relationships, have your children grow up with grandparents um, or, you know, in a loving environment and have that support so that if something does happen and you need to run out or your kids need to be picked up, you're not scrambling. So personally, I think this is a great option, but let me tell you a little bit more about if you're planning on renovating, what that means. So this credit is to build a secondary suite in the home that you are currently in. And that means that it is a self-contained dwelling unit with a private kitchen, a bathroom, a sleeping area, and private entrance to make you qualify and really what it is is in terms of monetary value it is a 15 percent tax credit for up to fifty thousand dollars in renovations and construction costs to build the secondary suite um, and it is the federal government multi-generational home renovation tax credit that you're looking for what this means is essentially that it provides you up to seventy five hundred dollars in support through that tax credit now, you must qualify to be able to get the tax credit and qualifying means that this is a relationship with an individual over the age of 65 or an adult with a disability who lives with you. So, you know, maybe this isn't, um, this is, you're doing this to support, um, you know, family member that needs uh, your support uh, versus the other way around. So they can also, you can qualify for an adult who has a disability, okay? So as I said, renovations must be made to your current home and the residence that is going to be moving in with you must be over the age of 65 or an adult over the age of 18 that is eligible for disability tax credits. Now, the primary property um, must be owned by the eligible person. So you, your spouse or common law partner. And that is really important because it's not a property that your aunt and uncle bought a hundred years ago and you moved it. It has to be Unless it's transferred and has your name on it, it doesn't qualify. So make sure that it is a property that you own. Now, the second secondary suite, as I mentioned, must be a self-contained unit and, uh, and it must be newly constructed, okay? So it's not something that you renovated before, already has a secondary suite. This suite has to be created for this purpose. And the cost of labor is also something that can go into this time, um, into the qualification. Now, what doesn't qualify? Let's talk about some things that you can claim for. So furniture is not something that you can get this tax credit for. Um, appliances, devices, don't go into this. It really has to be the construction of that unit, not the exterior. So we're not talking landscaping, security, security, anything like housekeeping or maintaining your home has uh, the exterior of your home does not qualify. This is also not a cost of financing a renovation for your entire home, okay? Like you can't decide that this is the time you're gonna renovate your entire home and then go for that tax credit unless you're adding that secondary uh, dwelling in there. And also you can't write off the, the mortgage interest costs either. So that does not qualify. Construction equipment also doesn't qualify. So if you're planning on doing this yourself or have some support and you think, ah, oh, this is a great idea that, you know, we can undertake ourselves, doesn't qualify. So if you are thinking about, you know, having support move in with you or um, you need to provide support to a family member, I think this is a great option 
renovations are very expensive and anywhere that can help you to uh, you know make these renovations happen and more realistic is definitely a benefit than something you should look into and you know for personally for me it has been a game changer I didn't split my home into two dwellings however my parents did move in with me and I can tell you in so many ways it's it's been a wonderful sort of move for my family and it, maybe it won't last for you know forever or maybe it will we don't know that and you probably won't know that but if you are thinking about going down this path I think it's you know if all parties are really on board I, I think there's some great great emotions and uh, and memories to come out of something like this but Again, going back to the tax credit, if you are genuinely thinking about this renovation, take a look. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. I hope you found this uh, information super useful. If you have any questions or I can support you in any way, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, come back because I'm sure I'll have more content for you.